Okay, so for the next part, we're going to zebra mesh all of our individual parts. So our mesh in general is relatively similar. Then we're going to save, merge all of our layers together and remesh by union. This will weld everything together. And then finally, once we have this nice new mesh that's welded together, we're gonna zebra mesh it one more time just to clean it up a little bit. So this video is a little slower than all of the rest, um, but I think it will be helpful and feel free to speed it up in YouTube if you would like to go faster. And again, I'm going to do a file and a save project because I've been doing my project files um, before remesh. And I'm also going to save after and after remesh. And so now I know I have a before and an after just in case something goes horribly wrong here. And basically what I need to do is mesh my head, my neck, my body, and my legs all together. And I wanna include my ears, nose, eyelids, and any other little parts like the hands together. Right now I'm looking at each individual layer and you can see that there is stretching on um, all of my meshes. So you can see, especially down at the heel here, there's stretching and um, the faces of my meshes are not square. So they're more rectangular and pulled. And I'm just double checking each of my layers to see where um, some meshes may be larger size, so you can see the top of the head has um, larger polygons than the face or the lower face and the neck. So this is a good reason to remesh my layers before merging them all together. Now one more thing I'm going to do is just double check this back. You can see that the way the pieces are meshing together, it's not quite flowing into itself the way that it should. Um, there's like weird ridges, the scapula are kind of sticking out. So I'm just using my smooth brush, so that's shift and smooth, to try and smooth this out and have these pieces flow a little better. Um, you can also delete the scapula if for some reason you did make them. And doing the same thing with any other little pieces that I can see, like the butt or the elbow, just making sure these pieces are um, going to flow okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're basically trying to make all of our layers have roughly the same polyframes all over. So when we merge these pieces together, there's nothing stretched, there's no weirdness um, in our different um, groups. So let's go to our head and neck first. This is also a great time to save because now we're going to be, um, so let's say with layers before zero mesh. Okay. And so now we're gonna go down to geometry, Z remesher. And for our face, currently our total points in our model is about 35,000. That's a little on the high side. Our face has 5,300. I'm thinking for Z remesher, we want to turn on keep group. Smooth groups is okay, because um, that will kind of help us a little bit. And I'm thinking target polygon count of 1.8, let's go for two. And let's hit Z remesher. Okay, so that's not too bad. Quite a few poly, um, polygons here. Active points, 4,000. I think we can do better. I think we could do like a 1.5 and click Z remesher. Okay, now we're down to 3,300. So I think that's looking pretty good still and um, I'm liking this. So we're gonna go to our next layer. So go down to your ribs. And for this, we are going to go back to uh, geometry 
and zebra mesher. And I'm thinking for this, we probably want something a little higher, like maybe four. Let's try that. That's better. So our active points haven't, our total points haven't gone up too much and we've still got some nice detail. If I turn off my poly frame, I think my detail is still pretty good. So let's stick with that but you're welcome to try it a couple times just to make sure that your poly group or polys are roughly the same okay so for arms again we have a little bit of stretching here so let's try our zebra mesher so that's under geometry zebra mesher and if you guys want you can always put these buttons on the bottom down here um i'm going to keep groups Target polygon count, I don't think we need to be at five. Let's try two. That's pretty good. Pretty happy with these. Okay, next one, legs. For the legs, um, I did fix one thing in the back here. So I'm going to go to geometry, save your measure, keep groups. Target polygon count, I'm guessing two. That's fine. You can always turn off the polys just to make sure you're keeping some of this detail. Yep, looking nice and sharp. The last thing to do is to include the hands. The important thing with hands and Z remeshing is that all of your fingers are far enough spaced apart so that when we're Z remeshing them, they um, maintain their integrity and don't get mushed together. So again, Z remesh, keep group. Let's try this 0.9 and see what happens. All right, that was a little weird. There's some, it introduced new groups, which I didn't think it was supposed to do. Let's see if we can up our target polygon count. There we go. That's better. So 1.8 seemed to work fine for me, but for you, it could be different. All right, I'm gonna save one more time. The reason I'm saving now is because this is a great base mesh um, before it's been merged. So if you do wanna create a model later or um, make some adjustments later or create another character, you can use this base mesh and then move forward. Now we're going to merge everything except for the eyeballs, but we are going to include the eyelids and the hands. We're going to go to merge. We're going to merge down, but before we do that, we're gonna turn off weld. So merge down, hit okay. That works, everything's looking pretty good. Um, so we're gonna merge down again, hit okay. Make sure weld is off. Next, merge down and hit okay. Awesome. And I know I didn't show it in this video, but please also merge the eyelids and the hands so they're all in that same layer. Do not merge the eyeballs or the base layer. The last piece is merging down for the hands. So I'm just gonna click, merge, make sure weld is turned off and merge down. I have a total of 37,000 active points, which is pretty good. Now that all my layers are combined into one, except for the eyeballs, I can um, save one more time. This time I'm calling it Final Base Mesh. Then I'm going to rename this layer. So now that it's merged, let's rename it Merged. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer and this new layer will be what we use for our remesh by union. And what the remesh by union is going to do is take all of the interior parts, the overlapping parts of our model and get rid of them so that we have only the outside of the model remaining. So one thing I did do off camera was to create a new folder and name it keep and then put my merge one layer into it for safekeeping. So if you could do that, that would be great. 
For the merge layer, we're going to use it to create our remesh by union layer. Now I'm going to turn on dynamic subdivision for my merge layer and grab the move scale and rotate gizmo. And you need the actual gizmo rather than the transpose line for this. Now we need to also center our gizmo. So I'm gonna unlock it, reset the orientation, and then I'm going to go to the unmasked mesh center. Now, if your gizmo goes to the actual center of your mesh, you're in good shape. If you had symmetry turned on, which is always a good thing, you can see now I had symmetry turned on and I clicked the little location button here, my gizmo would be off to the right. So I don't want that in this case. So um, turn off symmetry click on go to the center make sure your rotation's good and lock and now um, we want to go to this tiny little settings icon on the left hand side here and click on that and go to remesh by union so um, as we're doing this i just want to kind of clarify the difference between dynamesh and remesh by union so dynamesh ex envelops the exterior of the mesh in polygons deletes the interior geometry, welds the pieces together. It's not the best topology, but it's great at capturing detail. In contrast, Remesh by Union uses the existing topology and just welds those pieces together as best it can. It deletes the interior geometry as well, um, but the joins are not always as clean as in Dynamesh, but you overall get a nicer topology. So we're gonna be using both. Now before I actually um, remesh by union, I'm going to duplicate my merged layer. So select that merged layer, duplicate it, and then rename that layer and rename it remesh by union. Now I'm gonna select it and now go to the gear icon and so what these settings are, are a bunch of different deformers that you can use. Um, there's like remesh by decimation, subdivide, um, bend curve, inflate. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, remesh by Z remesher and remesh by union. And this is the one we're gonna pick right now. I do want to show you one thing. So when you are clicking on remesh by union, Notice when you first click on that button, a little gear icon appears in yellow. And this is where you need to go in here and hit accept to accept that remesh by union. You can also delete or um, not accept it. And then to check to make sure the pieces have been cut away, you need to go back to your draw and then press control shift and click on a polygroup. And then you should be able to see that it's empty inside and that the pieces that were there before have been cut away. And then you can press control shift and click an empty space or control shift, click and drag an empty space and get all of your pieces back. Okay, we have one last thing to do. Thank you for hanging with me. Um, so we're going to duplicate this layer and create a nice Z remeshed version of this merged model. So let's duplicate the layer, rename it Z remeshed, and make sure the visibility on the other layers is turned off. We also wanna make sure we have symmetry turned on so you can see the red dots on either side of the model. Next, we're gonna go down to geometry and our Z remesher. Make sure that Keep Groups is turned on, Smooth Groups is turned on, and then for target polygon count, I'm thinking we need something around 10 to 15. So I'm gonna click 10 and start with my zebra mesher. And while this is processing, um, what we're trying to do is create nice, even polygroups on both sides like this that we can then project our um, detailed topology onto later. So um, 10 worked out great. 
this is actually quite nice. The only part I'm a little concerned with is the butt and making sure the hands look okay. So they actually look pretty good. 10 could definitely work. I'm going to try just going back in time and um, let's try maybe 12. So go all the way back to the beginning. See your measure and instead of 10, let's try 12. Make sure smooth groups is on and hit zebra measure. So 12 is giving me about 27,000 active points. That's actually pretty darn great. Um, I'm actually having a nice time in the back here. The back looks nice. If there's any pinching or pulling, you can kind of smooth that out. Make sure that, um, I'm just going to smooth this too. Make sure that um, symmetry is turned on. But otherwise, this looks pretty great. Um, things that you want to look out for are if you're losing topology in the hands at all. Um, but this looks pretty nice. I'm just going to smooth out these the padding of the fingers. But otherwise, this looks great. So I'm going to stick with this model and um, move on to the next video. So right now you have a great zebra meshed version. And then you also have your remeshed by union and your merged layers. All right. Thank you.